This is fascinating. I wonder, uh, that's perhaps why we feel better when we walk barefooted as well. This is a study showing how, uh, what happens to the human body when we walk barefoot on earth. Steve McCallamy on the collective spark. Uh, this is, uh, the picture above represents the uh, improved face, facial uh, circulation. The right image, on the image on the right is after 20 minutes of grounding, that is walking on the uh, barefoot on the earth, as documented by a speckle contrast laser imager, Dark blue is lower circulation, and dark red is higher circulation. Now, the grounding, or earthing, as some people call it, involved placing your feet directly on the ground without shoes or socks as a barrier. The logic behind this practice relates to the intense negative charge carried by the earth. This charge is electron-rich, theoretically serving as a good supply of antioxidants and free radical destroying electrons. You know, as I'm reading this, I'm remembering it. It's, it was a um, one of the orders in the Old Testament that priests are barefoot, that the high priest and the priests of the uh, synagogue, you know, as the uh, rules given uh, to Moses by God in the Old Testament as to how they were to perform their, um, their, their rituals and their prayers, they had to be barefoot. And they also uh, had to wear linen, something having to do with the, I think the linen also has something to do with the electrical charge of the body and the earth. Uh, that's something I have to do another video on, the linen that they had to wear. Anyway, according to Dr. James Oshman, PhD in biology from the University of Pittsburgh, and an expert in the field of energy medicine, he says subjective reports that walking barefoot on the earth enhances health and provides feelings of well-being can be found in the literature and practices of diverse cultures from around the world. For a variety of reasons, many individuals are reluctant to walk outside barefoot unless they are on holiday at a beach. It makes sense if you think about it. In our most natural state, we wouldn't have anything covering our feet. Putting your feet on the ground enables you to absorb negative electrons through the soles of your feet. And this can help you align your body to the same negatively charged electron potential as the Earth. The science behind this says a study published in the Journal of Environmental and Public Health titled Earthing, Health Implications of Reconnecting the Human Body to the Earth's Surface Electrons, postulates that earthing could re represent a potential treatment for a, a variety of chronic degenerative diseases. It, included, it concluded that simple contact with the Earth through being either outside barefoot or indoors, connected to grounding conductive systems, could serve as a natural and profoundly effective environmental strategy against chronic stress, ANS dysfunction, inflammation, pain, poor sleep, disruptive HRV, hypercoagulable blood, and many common health disorders, including cardiovascular diseases. The research done to date supports the concept that grounding or earthing the human body may be an essential element in the health equation, along with sunshine, clean air and water, nutritious food and physical activity. Another study conducted by the Department of Neurosurgery from the Military Clinical Hospital in Potswanko, Warsaw, Warsaw, I guess, along with their affiliates like the Poland Medical University, found that blood urea concentrations are lower in subjects who are earthed, that is connected to the earth potential with the use of copper wire during physical exercise, and that earthing during exercise resulted in improved exercise recovery. It included, quote, these results suggest that earthing during exercise inhibits hepatic protein catabolism or increases renal urea extraction. Earthing during exercise affects protein metabolism, resulting in a positive nitrogen balance. This phenomenon has fundamentally imp fundamental importance in the understanding of human metabolic processes and may have implications in training programs for athletes." End quote. A study published last year from, uh, from the Developmental and Cell Biology Department at the University of California at Irvine found that grounding the human body improves facial blood flow regulation. 
as we see in the image here. As mentioned earlier, studies have also found grounding to reduce blood viscosity, a major factor in cardiovascular disease. One study published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine even concluded that earthing may be the primary factor regulating the endocrine and nervous system. According to a review published by the Journal of Inflammation Research, quote, grounding reduces or even prevents the cardinal signs of inflammation following injury, redness, heat, swelling, pain, and loss of function. Rapid resolution of painful chronic inflammation was confirmed in 20 case studies using medical infrared imaging. Our main hypothesis is that connecting the body to the earth enables free electrons from the earth's surface to spread over and into the body where they can have antioxidant effects. Specifically, we suggest that mobile electrons create an antioxidant microenvironment around the injury repair field, slowing or preventing reacting oxygen species, ROS, delivered by the oxidative burst from causing collateral damage to healthy tissue and preventing or reducing the formation of the so-called inflammatory barricade. We also hypothesize that electrons from the earth can prevent or resolve so-called silent or smoldering inflammation. inflammation. Dozens of studies confirm the physiological effects of grounding, which include anything from anti-aging and heart health benefits to improve sleep and much, much more. Dr. Joseph Mercola says, this simple process of grounding is one of the most potent antioxidants we know of. Grounding has been shown to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, improve sleep, enhance well-being, and much, much more. Unfortunately, many living in developed countries are rarely grounded anymore. When grounded, the diurnal rhythm, the diurnal rhythm of the stress hormone cortisol begins to normalize. Cortisol is connected to your body's stress response and helps control blood sugars, regulate metabolism, and reduce inflammation. And the figure shows that the results of the study that examined the effects of being grounded while sleeping over the course of eight weeks. I guess that means sleeping on the ground, right? Now, how can you get grounded? We all spend most of our time walking on the earth wearing shoes with rubber or plastic soles. These materials are insulators and accordingly we use them to insulate electric wires. They also disconnect you from the Earth's electric flow, which we are supposed to be connected to. However, if you wear leather-soled shoes or vegan leather, or walk barefoot on sand, grass, soil, concrete, or ceramic tile, you will be grounded. So that's good. If you wear leather-soled shoes, you will be grounded. Okay, that's good. So if you walk on asphalt, wood, rubber, plastic, vinyl, tar, or tarmac, you will not be grounded. Okay, so if we walk on our house uh, tiles, uh, even with our leather slippers, we will be grounded. That's good. Now, so the next time you're outside, take off your shoes. You can also use conductive systems while sleeping, working, or spending time indoors for a mere, for a more conventional and lifestyle-friendly um, approach. Now, the Schumann residence in 1952 German physicist Professor W. Schumann of the Technical University of Munich began attempting to answer whether the Earth itself has a frequency, a pulse. His assumption about the existence of this frequency came from his understanding that when a sphere exists inside another sphere, an electrical tension is created. Since a negatively charged Earth exists inside the positively charged ionosphere, there must be tension between the two, giving the Earth a specific frequency. And following his assumptions, through a series of calculations, he was able to land upon a frequency he believed was the pulse of the Earth. And this frequency was 10 hertz. It wasn't until 1954 that Schumann teamed up with another scientist, Herbert Koenig, and confirmed that the residents of the Earth maintained a frequency of 7.83 hertz. This discovery was later tested and verified by other scientists. And since then, the Schumann resonance has been accepted term used scientifically to describe or measure the pulse of the Earth. Even though the existence of the Schumann resonance is, is an established scientific fact, there are few scientists who fully understand the important relationship between this frequency 
and life on the planet. The article here, uh, studies show what happens to the human body when we walk barefoot on Earth, was originally created for collective evolution and is published here under Creative Commons on uh, collective, collective Spark, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.